Hello friends, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in again. Another episode of the Backyard Warrior. And today we're making some merge sausage. Here I have a couple lamb shoulders. We're gonna debone, cut, and then chill, grind, and then stuff into some casing. Merge sausage, very popular North African sausage. Made of lamb, harissa spices, and uh, that's it. So without any further ado, let's debone the shoulder and then we'll cut it into chunks. So the spices we're using for this so merge sausage is gonna be salt, pepper, paprika, a little pepper. This is some Malawi chilies. They look like bird's eye chilies. They have probably the same heat level. Here I have cumin seeds, caraway, uh, fennel seeds, coriander, dried garlic, dried ginger, some caraway seeds, and dried mints. Now we're gonna toast these whole spices and grind them with the rest of the ground spices, okay? So for the casing, I'm using this sheep casing from the sausage maker. These are good, high quality. They come preserved in salt, so they have indefinite shelf life, especially if you put them in the fridge. This is a, a brand new package I got. Packed in salt. Let's open this bag. Uh, smells like sheep casing. No foul smell or anything. So what you do is look for the ring and split it in two. Right here. One ring go this way, the other ring go this way. Just untangle whatever you can. Move this to the side. And now we're gonna split this one here. It takes a little time, patience, but nothing crazy. Like I said, these are some high quality casing. First, let's put this one back in here. We don't need it right now. This one. Okay. 
just like that make a straight line and then start pulling one at a time slowly you don't want to rip there we go so now we have one and just do as many as you need and then put everything back in a bag in a container back in the fridge like I said this will last you a long time and now that we have 10 casing I hope this is enough for my sausage today so what we're gonna do is we're gonna desalinate these casings in fresh water next step is to soak this casing in fresh water the goal is to soften the casing Step to make these casings slippery and easy to work with is throw some baking soda in it. In a bowl, add some water, with, dissolve all that baking soda. Put all my casing in here. These will sit here in the fridge overnight and tomorrow tomorrow will stuff. Now the meat is chilled, firm, spend a few hours in the fridge. Have some salt, our seasoning mix, that's a harissa mix, grinder, all. Now I'm gonna start grinding this meat. Somehow I couldn't find my coarse plate only have the medium plate so I'm gonna run this twice first time then add seasoning and uh, run it the second time okay Adding salt and our seasoning mix, the harissa mix. That smells and look amazing. Right, we're gonna mix this. Oh, the smell, the fennel, the coriander, cumin. That should be enough for now. So we're gonna run it again on the grinder, add some water to it, make it a little tacky, and we're ready. I'll fry it a little patty just to taste the seasoning. Mm -hmm. On point. This is actually good. 
add some water to it, loosen up a little bit. If you have a kitchen aid, you can throw it in there and let it run for a few minutes. Add water whenever you need it. Why don't we have the spices? Get into the mix. Now we're gonna let it rest for a little bit while we get the stuff ready. This holds seven pounds. We're gonna pack it in, leave no room for for air. That's good. This takes some time. I'm gonna tie this thing a little bit. So these uh, Merga sausages spent the night in the fridge, they firmed up pretty good. Now we're going to put them in a smoker for a couple of hours at 225-250. Once they're done, we're going to plunge them in some ice water and be ready. My friends, two hours it took for this Merga sausage and they're looking beautiful nice color i like that mm -hmm. oh wow fat is rendered pretty good spices are on point everything look good let's try another one beautiful Alright my friends, this is it for this one. Keep returning again until the next one. Stay safe and bye bye.